This is a short video to show you how to install the Lockdown Browser for taking quizzes in Canvas. Your instructor may require this Lockdown Browser to maintain exam and quiz integrity. You will only have to do this install once. You would go to the quiz just as normal and click on Take Quiz. You want to do this well in advance so that you have plenty of time, especially if the quiz opens at a particular time and closes at a particular time. You can always ask your professor to set up a practice quiz if they're going to use this feature so that you can actually do this install in advance. You only have to do this one time. So if you've not, it will, what it will happen is it will come up if you say take the quiz and if you have not installed the Lockdown Browser before, it will say download Respondus Lockdown Browser. So we're going to click on this link. I urge you very much to watch this video because it will show you how uh, it's used and some of the things that you will need to do for your Lockdown Browser. I'm doing this install in Mac OS, but it would work very similar in Windows. I'm going to click install now. You'll notice that the package should install, should download. If you don't see it, then it's typically found in your downloads folder. So here it is. And I'm going to just double click on that so I can unpack it because it was in a zip file. And now you'll see I have this called Install Respondus Lockdown Browser. I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to hit continue. It will say that this is the installer for the Lockdown Browser. So I'm going to continue. I'm going to go through the license, hit continue. I'm going to agree to the license. I'm going to accept the install location as is. You will either have to put in your password or if you have Touch ID, you can use that. It tells us that the installation was successful. So now I'm going to close this. I'm going to go ahead and move the installer to trash. Once you have the Lockdown Browser installed, you will be using that particular browser for your exams and quizzes every single time. So what you need to do once you do that is go to the, find the Lockdown Browser. So you can do that just by clicking the magnifying glass and starting to type Lockdown Browser. It should appear. I double click on it to launch it. I want to make sure I am connected to Canvas. It's the default. So you should be okay, at least in um, Mac OS. Click continue. Now, if you get this message, you will see that there are some blacklisted applications. One of them that I have right now is the software that's recording my screen. So this is as far as I can go with this recording. I'm going to continue with some screenshots of what you will see once you start the browser. Once you get into the Lockdown Browser, you will now see your regular login screen. So go ahead and log in. Now you will see Take the Quiz. Click Take the Quiz. The next screen will ask you to have access to the camera. Click OK. And then the following screen will ask you to have access to the microphone. Again, click OK. Read the terms of service and then click Agree. As you can see, there are several steps that you will have to go through before you can begin the exam. These may vary depending on the instructor. The next screen you will do a webcam check. Make sure your face is square and you can see the entire face in the webcam. 
you want to make sure that you are sitting with enough light so that the camera can detect your face because later on you'll be doing a face detection. You need to keep the light on at the same brightness for the entire test. In this screen, you will be doing a voice and webcam check, video and audio. You should first click on the record five second video. During the recording, you should be talking or counting. Once it stops, you will check to see if you can hear the audio, see the video. If it works, you just click on the continue key. This screen is going to show you additional instructions. These instructions can vary with each instructor. I advise you to read these very carefully as it will be anything that the instructor thinks is important for you to know in order to take the exam. The next step of guidelines and tips are very important for you to look at and pay attention to. Your video of your test taking and the flags that the instructor may get will be directly related to whether you follow these guidelines and tips. So make sure that you read through each screen and follow the guidelines and tips for the best exam experience. The next step will ask you to take a photo. Look straight into the webcam. Make sure you're centered and your face is clear and click take picture. Once you do that, it will tell you if you succeeded and you will be able to continue. In the next screen, you will show your identification. I'm holding up a gift card, but normally you would hold up your student ID close to the webcam so that the entire ID could be viewed. This is a secondary form of identification to make sure that you are the person who should be taking the exam. Once you take the picture, you should be able to go and hit continue. The seventh step is an environment check. If your instructor requires this, you must scan the room and the surface around you with the computer. So you will have to be picking it up. You'll hit the start recording button and you will basically tilt and pan your webcam so a video can be made of the area surrounding your computer. You'll hit start recording when you're ready and once you're done, you will hit stop recording. It'll prepare the video and you can view the video at that point. And if you are happy with it, you can continue. If not, you can try again. The very last step is a facial detection check. As soon as it comes up, make sure that your face is well positioned in the video window and clearly visible. Once that, it, that, that has happened, and now get yourself all settled because you're about to begin the exam, click continue, and you will see the begin exam screen. Click on begin exam and your exam will appear. I hope this video has been helpful for you in setting up this browser. Remember, you only have to do it once and the options will vary and the steps will vary depending on your instructor.